Hey guys and welcome back. You've seen it last night. Newcastle United are now in the Champions League for the first time since 2003 after drawing 0-0 against Leicester. A game which we dominated but almost lost it at the end as Castagno, Leicester's only shot of the game, made Nick Port work hard for that. That was, whew, that was close. But anyway guys, welcome back. This is the vlog of the match itself. Historic moment. I actually already got a previous video on the channel of me being amongst the fans after the game yesterday. So make sure I check that out if you have, have done so already. And secondly, if you like what you watch, make sure I get down there. Hit that subscribe button, smash like we enjoy. You've got to remind yourselves as well, there's still a season on. We've got to play Chelsea on Sunday. We've got plenty of videos coming out throughout the week as well. And then after the season's done, the transfer window opens. So the Castle's transfer window, who are we going to sign going into the Champions League next season? So many different questions and we are here to try and answer them. But yeah, if you like what you're seeing, you know where to go. Without further ado guys, enough of me, let's show you the vlog from the historic match last night. Anyway guys, we're joined here by Keith Downey. I mean, for you, must be the biggest match uh, commentary at Newcastle, is, I mean, the exception of the cup final, especially yeah. a league match. It's yeah. mental times, isn't it? It's strange how quickly it's come around. Isn't yeah. it? it's, just, it's just strange that here we are, last home game of the season, and Newcastle know that a, a point sees them qualify for the Champions League for the first time in 21 years. It's just, it's, it's amazing to think we were stood in this spot, what, how long ago? A year and a half ago, 18 months ago, when the takeover went ah, through, yeah. and then within 18 months, Newcastle are already looking like they're going to qualify for the Champions League. Um, um, unbelievable and it's you can sense it tonight can you everyone's milling around quite early and you can sense that this is a this is a big big night yeah well i'll ask you for your score push in just a sec but the big obvious question is do you think newcastle will at least draw tonight yeah i think so yeah, yeah. i mean you look at leicester i conceded a lot of goals Whoa! newcastle scoring a lot of goals one last push to get them over the line i, I think it would have been harder had they not beaten brighton the other night it would have been hard to have gone again but i just think adrenaline gets newcastle over the over the line tonight any score prediction of mine though? Uh, it's really difficult, isn't it? I mean, I've, I've actually got a couple of these right recently. Whoa! Got the um, got the Man United one right 2 0, and then I was in the lift with a couple of Spurs fans before the Spurs game, and I said, "Look, I think Newcastle are going to score a few. T I didn't think they'd score six, five <laughs> after 20 minutes, but I said, "Look, I think they could score three or four here." And obviously, wasn't too far away. I think Newcastle win tonight. Lesser fighting for their lives. I don't think they'll run away with it. I'm going to go two two 0 Newcastle. Two 0 I well, appreciate it, Keith. I'm sure I see you for a very busy summer once again. So I'm Patrick. I'm Delaine. And where are you both from? So we're from Jacksonville, Florida. A long way away from here. So how long does it take to get here from Jackson, Florida? So from Jacksonville, it's like, honestly, probably about total like 12 hours because we used to take the flight over, which is about eight hours. And then we're hanging out in London. And then we take the train over this morning, which we we're honestly lucky to get here because we had some delays and it got canceled. Some things got canceled and stuff. So but we were happy to be here. So how many of Newcastle games have you been to? first one your I, first one 12 years ago i came here for the first time and i was like begging to get into the game but we couldn't get tickets for it of course because it sold out so this is the first one and probably the best one to go to i mean are you excited for the game and i first game you picked a good one to come to you know yeah exactly we're so excited so i mean it's just been a really impressive season overall and like it would make the cherry on top of the season so but either way like it's just we're so happy to be here and we can't wait to see what happens yeah, my name's Tom. That's crazy how, cool how did you get the game idea, Tom? Drove up from Watford, been a long drive, took me about five hours, but all worth it. Have you been going to many Newcastle games now? Yeah, loads, yeah, home and away since like, like 2013, 2014, so absolutely love it. In the days of the championship, I was away at Cardiff when we were already up, and going oh, yes. down, going up was being a song, I loved it. And how does it feel this season now? It's fair to say it's been a little bit different than the old ones. Oh, mate, you just can't put it into words, can you? It's just, it's absolutely mental. You have to like pinch yourself every so often to, to say, is this real? Is this happening? Like, we beat Brian the other night and you just look at it and thinking, wow, like, what a team we've become. Yeah, it's a real one as well. It kind of all hit me at once. I thought a week ago before the Brighton match, I was quite negative to be honest. I was thinking, well, we just lost to Arsenal, so we just drew against the Leeds. Liverpool all of a sudden out of nowhere won, what, five, six games in a row. I'm thinking, this might slip, you know. Then all of a sudden, we beat Brighton, destroyed them as well, may I add. And then Liverpool dropped a couple of huge points that I but I put this in the area now where if Newcastle draw or win the match tonight we will be in the Champions League that is 100% confirmed it's it is crazy so what are we thinking for that game tonight then? 
Oh, tonight, I mean, Leicester, they're fighting for their lives down the bottom, but I just think we've got too much. I mean, Brighton were fighting for something as well. They've been playing so well, basically. You just you can't see Leicester getting anything from it. I mean, you never know. It's football. Stranger things have happened, but you'd like to think that we've definitely got enough to bring over three points. Well, I'm going to be a bit naughty. I'm going to try and force a score prediction out Yeah, I want you to, to give me a score prediction, what we're going to say. I'm going to go 3 0. I say we keep a clean sheet for the first time in quite a while. I'm going to go 3 0. And you want a mind? Ooh. Let's go Botman for his first goal and then St. Maximan to score a brace. Ooh, we trust them on, but thank you so much. You enjoy your time up here. Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, I'm, I'm Luke and this is Thomas. And what are we going to say for the score tonight? I'm saying 3 0. Um, I think Wilson, Isaac, and Bruno. And what about yourself? 3 um, 1. We can't do a match day vlog without getting Jack on, also known as JJ and Charlton. Channel regular, today <laughs> is going to be the biggest interview I've done with you ever when it comes to your castinated. <laughs> Huge game of football tonight. Once again, you travelled all the way up from Bournemouth. All we have to do tonight is draw the game and we will be in the Champions League. What have you got to say about that? Well, to be honest, mate, like, it's, like we say, it's like the biggest game in what? must be like 23 years or something since we've been in the Champions League obviously we tasted Europe in 2012 but this is just a different level isn't it especially under the new owners and everything uh, I'm feeling confident tonight obviously I think a lot of people around the ground are uh, I'm going to go for like a 2-0 uh, standard win similar to the cup quarter final a couple of goals in the second half and then yeah I don't think we'll I think we'll go out in style to be honest with you but I've always think that we are won the 2012 because yes I think that season Newcastle did deserve again in Europe but we're still a bit fluky at times because despite getting fifth we lost the likes of Fulham 5 to you lost 4 0 to Wigan, 5 0 to Tottenham, you still picked these mammoth results. Where, I mean, it, it, was, it was just a one season wonder because next season we were straight away back towards 15th the relegation zone. So, I, I think this time much different though. I even think next season with being in European football, I still fancy us to give it a real good go in the league. And it's just a start. I, I stand by it. I think this is just a start for us. But we have to get the job done tonight first. Do you see it's at least drawing the game tonight? Yeah, well, like I said previously, mate, I think um, I'm going to stick by a 2 0 win. I think we'll definitely get a draw. Uh, even if it's like a boring 0 0, you know, the worst game of football I've ever seen in my life, you'd take that just because it means that we mathematically get Champions League. So, yeah, I'm really, really confident and I think we'll get the job done. Are you going on a party to London this weekend? Or? Uh, I hope so, mate. I hope so. I want to get on one of those boats, definitely. And, yeah, a few, a few drinks and that. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, mate. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy Love your you, night mate. over here. Uh, hopefully, well, I'm confident enough, but hopefully, you're. In have a great night. Yeah, we'll be celebrating tonight, mate. We'll have a good one. Yeah, my name is Toy. I'm from Thailand. Thailand, you you been to many Newcastle games? or? Yeah, I came here last season for the last home game as well. Oh, Arsenal? Yeah, Arsenal. Big one night, yeah, Champions one. League yeah. tonight. Do you think we're going to do it? Yeah, 3-0. Obviously, 3-0 today. Any today. goal scores? Um, I would go with two. It's like Hattrick. It's like Hattrick. Yeah. Oh, oh. So, <laughs> did you got a uh, Joe Lint was in your yeah. shirt? Yeah, number so, seven. Only seven. Oh, number seven. Yeah, and that, that is my channel, YouTube channel. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, uh, make sure I go over your channel. Appreciate it. you. Enjoy yeah. yourself. Take care. Yeah. The Champions League, we'll, we'll get yeah. there. Thank you so much. I'm Ian. I'm Tyler. And what were you thinking for the score against Leicester City? Tonight I'm going to go for 4-1. Any goal scores yeah. in mind though? I'd like to think that we can see, if Longstaff's been, I'd like to see him knock two. Yeah, well, Longstaff's just arrived before, so I think it's an indication he'll at least be on the bench now. Yeah, yeah. we have going to get a couple of goals. He's had a great season. Oh, he's been phenomenal, hasn't he? Yeah. What about yourself? Uh, I reckon it's another 4-1, to be slightly honest. Callum Wilson, another two goals. Uh, Sean Longstaff to come off the bench and score one. The thing is as well, Callum Wilson, he gets two of these and 20 uh, goals this season. 20 goals, this 20 season. goals yeah, for yeah. a player with a class as an injury prone out of form striker. Well, he came back after the World Cup. Out of form, uh, he's done really I think, well. I think he had long term COVID, to be fair, which obviously that's always going to have an effect on your body. But honestly, 20 goals, if he, if he gets it, is incredible. So we'll right, see anyway. But listen, lads, Champions League tonight, if we get it, we need strikers to score goals. Nah, and that's what he's here to do. Exactly. So you take care, enjoy yourself, lads. Thank, Thank you so Adam. much. Thanks, Adam. I'm KFC's dad, uh, and we do a vlog channel, and this is. Mine in Silver Box. 
both Leicester fans. I know today's going to be a bit of a tough test for you, but I just want to start off by saying, yeah, I believe you've been to every single match this season, am I correct in saying that? Just, just, just about. I think we might have missed one or two. That's real dedicated fans. I remember back in 2016, I went to the majority of games. Bad times, especially you're not performing well in the weekly basis. I want to say well done in your support. I'm sure Leicester will bounce back next season, but I want to begin off by just saying, I mean, what are your thoughts on Newcastle this season? I think uh, um, yeah, you've done really, yeah, you've done really well. You've done really well. Your manager's done, you know, he's made players that were with you before, like Joel Linton and uh, Almiron, and they weren't really doing anything. And now uh, they're like well beaters. Uh, so yeah, fair play. You know, he's, he's done a very, very good job. I appreciate. It. Is there any tips I should take going into the Champions League next season? I know both of you have experienced that over the last few years. Well, on the on the on the bit of Champions League that we had, um, it, was it was it was a great experience. Make sure you go to you if you can go to the oh, away yes. away days. Uh, we got to the semi semi final or quarter final. Yeah, you out of the quarter finals. I like Madrid. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, you won't be confident league. That was amazing. Yeah. We went to Rome last season. Oh, them heads up. Uh, we we've had, we've had <laughs> really? a good experience uh, going abroad. So make the most of that. It's good experiences. No, but honestly, for the Newcastle game today, though, this is a tough test for you guys. Coming to St James's Park against a team that is heavily in form. What score predictions are you going to go for today? Well, I'm. My heart is saying two one to Leicester, but my head's saying um, realistically three one to you guys. Three one. What about you, sir? Two one to Leicester. In my uh, my heart. And what's it? My four, I say 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. I still take a 1-1 one, one today, that's for sure. But listen, lads, no matter what happens on Leicester this season, I wish you both all the best. Well done, you support your team. I'm confident next season you come straight back up. So hopefully I'll see you at St James Park very all soon. Right. Thank you. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much, mate. Jack from The Final Whistle on YouTube. Go and check us out at The Final Whistle. So once again, a Leicester City fan, you're coming to St James's Park tonight and what is a hard game for you guys, not going to lie at all, you're in big trouble. I think especially with the fact that if Leicester lose tonight, this, this Premier League season is no longer in your hands, so just tell me straight away how important of a match this is for you guys. This was an important one, I'd hope, a uh, big game for the Foxes, um, it's in our hands, with Leeds losing at the weekend, Everton dropping points, so a win tonight would take us out of the relegation zone or goal difference, so... This one's a real difficult game against a very good Newcastle side who rightfully deserve to be up there. So I'm expecting a very tricky game against the Magpies. I always like asking this question to opposition fans, but what's your honest thought to Newcastle just as a club? Um, it's good to see Newcastle back where they belong. Um, you're a good club, good history, um, great fans and... Uh, yeah, you've worked really hard this season. You've done really well under Eddie Howe. Um, he might not be the elite manager like a Simeone in that, but yeah, he's done his job and uh, the players have built into what Eddie Howe wants and they're showing fire and everything that wish we had as a team at the minute. But yeah, Newcastle, fantastic club. And um, what about today's match? As a Leicester City fan, how do you think this game will go? This one's a difficult game. Um, not confident at all. Um, to be honest, Adam, mate, my heart's, I've gone for a 1 1 draw, but in my head, I think if Newcastle get one, then our heads are going to be down again, and I think we'll just give up. But we've got to stay in the game as much as we can. Um, we've got to show fight and really be up for it tonight. If we're not, then Newcastle will make us pay. So I was just speaking to you before, actually, about uh, if. Leicester City was to go down you were speaking about Rafa Benitez is that somebody you take at the club? Potentially uh, Rafa's done it before in the Championship um, he did it with Newcastle um, so he knows the Championship well um, but he's a potential manager but with regarding Dean Smith there's reports that he won't be Leicester's manager at the end of the season so we'll see what happens only time will tell uh, we'll see what happens, but just on my personal opinion of Benitez, I mean, you got a brilliant manager. I actually could see him going to Leicester because I don't think it's far fetched at all. You got to remember Benitez as well. Like after Newcastle, he took a job in the Chinese league, so he's somebody that is willing to go somewhere if the, the money's right for him, if the job is right for him. And yeah. Leicester City's a good club to go to, so I think he possibly could actually do it. Uh, to be completely honest, so we'll see what happens anyway. But no matter what happens to you guys today and for Saturday, I think you come back up next season. I'm confident you will. I think with Leicester City, with the players you have, obviously you're going to lose some of your players, but. I think the players you're bringing this for, I fully expect you guys to come back. So I wish you all the best. Congratulations, pal, and it's good to see you again. Appreciate it, Adam. Cheers, mate.
So once again, guys, we've got Channel regulars here. You want to introduce yourselves to the new viewers? Yep, it's Peter and Charlie. Yeah. Hi, uh, far Charlie on the sun, YouTube. Uh, yeah. Hi. Ah, uh, I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than this one. As I've been looking forward to this one all week long. It's incredible being this position. If we draw tonight, we are in the Champions League. Don't even need three points. One point and we are there. So I just want to ask you both straight away, what are we thinking? Oh, I think it's going to be 4-1 in Newcastle, the same as last time. Unless I haven't really got anything to play for, and I think we'll, we're just going to <laughs> win. They've got to stay in the Premier League. I think they got... can stay in the Premier League. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be a, a, go, a, a seven-goal thriller, 4-3 to Newcastle. Oh, I think it's going to be end-end because -end Newcastle have been tired. Bruno's playing, he's not 100% fit, you know, so I think it's going to be a tough game, but there's going to be a lot of goals, and I think we're going to come out as champion in the Champions League. Yeah. Oh, it would be an interesting one actually. I think Newcastle have only conceded three twice this season. That yeah. was the City in Villa, so ooh, we'll see what happens. I hope it's not 4 3. I hope it's nice and comfortable for us, but I think we'll at least draw. I think that's the most important part. I know both of you agree at that at least. So. As long as we don't get beef, that's all we need to do. Ah, that's the most important exactly, thing. Yeah. We get over the line first, and then we'll see if we can get third after that. But listen, lads, I wish you all the best. Yeah. Wow, we wouldn't be saying this at the start of the season, would we? It's exciting times. No one would have predicted this, I don't think. So to be in this position, whatever we do now is a massive achievement. <laughs> So once again guys, we're joined by Paul Cross at the Tune Review. I know I was in your show yesterday, so we've already talked a bit about the game tonight. Yeah. But just being here in the flesh now, within one hour of kickoff, give me your thoughts on this game ahead. Uh, we're seeing the long stops back, I think uh, I'm quite chuffed with that. So I think um, that'll give Bruno a bit more freedom on the pitch. So we've all been crying out for him to come back and how much we missed him. So. I think if we get an early goal tonight, I think we'll blitz them, I really do. And that's not being big-headed or cocky or anything like that. I think the way we play football, I think an early goal against Leicester City, their heads will drop and that's it. 5-1. And just the fact that you can't have to draw the game tonight, you can even draw no new one, but you, you still got a good result yeah. today. So. I, I think Leicester are going to struggle massively. I mean, Newcastle, I think I started looked at it earlier today, is in home matches when it's a 9 10 game. Yeah. The last 11 with won 9 and jumped twice. I've lost a single one in 9 10 game. So I'm war flags there, just how much of an impact is the home fans going to be. As if, let's say it was King Pass, just how much of an impact do you think the home match is going to be? Uh, well, I think the atmosphere before the game is going to be unbelievable. I mean, they've got flags on every seat and then the whole of these stands getting taken up, the whole length of it. And I think the players will feed off that, which is why I think as soon as they come out, as soon as they kick off, you know, we'll see the ball go out for a throw-in or a corner and the players will be picking up the fans again and I think it'll just be a, a, a fantastic night here tonight. Well, finally, Paul, I'll ask for your score prediction. 5-1, by. I actually did say 5-1. You did, so you did. I did back it. Yeah, uh, definitely 5-1. Well, hopefully we're not both looking to lose by the end of the game. No, we won't. We won't. We'll be celebrating. Uh, I appreciate it, Paul. Hopefully we'll be man. celebrating. Thank you. All right, Kev from the All The Parties channel. How's it going? I'm doing good, Paul. Thank you very much. Good to see you in Newcastle. Start now for what has been an unbelievable season. So, the Castle match with 37 now. We are within one point from the Champions League. How do you think this game would? Um, I said 3 0 before the game. Now that I've seen the team news, um, I was inclined to change my mind, but I'm, I'm going to stick by me 3 0. Bit of a strange one. No Harvey Barnes, no James Madison. And we're, you know, there's a few conspiracy theories going about. Has oh, there been a bit of a chat between the owners? Aye. But yeah, it, you know, coming into the game before I saw the team, it was always going to be a Newcastle United win for me. It's that moment, the biggest one I'll ever be at.
Joe Linton. Number nine, Callum Wilson. Number 14, Alexander Isak. Number 24, Mini Almiron. Number 33, Dan Byrne. Number 36, Sean Longstaff. And number 39, say it with me, Rudolph. Well, I hope you guys have been enjoying that since last night. It's unbelievable. But I wanted to talk through the game first before we talk about what's next for Newcastle. Of course, full time was no no. In the end, the game at Newcastle heavily dominated. But last 20 minutes or so, I could tell that was the team that was playing for Champions League football. They were terrified. Everything we were doing, the passing, the shooting, it was just so rushed. We were giving less of the ball. A team that had 11 players behind the ball. Even when they had to go on and win the game, they, all in the one shot at the end of the game, they did nothing in the entire match. We were damaging ourselves by giving them the opportunities. Oh, it was, it was terrifying to watch. I actually went to a toilet in the 80th minute. I couldn't take it. I actually had to go for a wee. I was terrified watching that. But I, uh, we got there in the end, though. It was really good from us. I thought likes Anderson. I mean, that was probably the big one because Joe Lincoln gets injured in the warm all of a sudden out of nowhere. A 20-year-old kid who was a striker last season is now coming into the midfield he's got total last minute with Eddie Howe Eddie you've got to come into the team I thought he did a really good job he's so composed I mean he, he is the future you know he can play like that I'm telling you now next couple of years he can really make a mould in this club and get himself in there because I thought he, look, he doesn't look out of place he's really experienced really looking the part despite the fact that he's actually not that experienced so ah, yeah, he looks fantastic so well done to him uh, defensively I thought Newcastle were pretty sound to be fair Obviously, Nick Pope did what he needed to do. A good game from him. Uh, then the rest of the team, I thought attack-wise, I mean, we hit the post for your four times, but even then, we didn't look great in attack, to be honest. Uh, it was just one of those ones, I think, where the pressure was on us and we just had a bit of an off day. But thankfully, because of the fact that Aston Villa drew against Liverpool on the Saturday, saved us big time. And let's say Liverpool came back and beat Aston Villa and then we drew. All the pressure's on the Chelsea game. There's no pressure now because we've got the job done. I know Newcastle is still playing for third place, which, to be fair, is somewhat important because you will get a little bit more money, get an extra couple million pounds from your end of season bonus, which could factor into signing a new player on the financial fair play. But listen, 
I'm not going to complain about finishing third or fourth in the league here. That is mental. We have got into the Champions League now. We will be going to Italy. Well, I say Italy. We will be going to Europe next season. Because of the fact that the likes of Barcelona have won the league, Real Madrid's in pot two. So you've got a good chance of getting two good teams, depending on who we draw. But just soak it all in and enjoy it. Um, we can enjoy the summer first before we can worry about who we're going to be getting the course to draw for the Champions League. Wouldn't actually happen to around September due to the fact there's a qualifying rounds for our teams getting into the competition. But we are there. We've put our mark in there. The passports will be renewed. And I will be uh, making our stint on European football for the first time since 2013. I'm just happy you're bigger there. It's been unbelievable this season. I've been to every single match this season, all 52 of the games, including the pre-season ones in Austria, Portugal, Saudi Arabia, etc. It's been a, a hectic year. It's been a great year. It's been a great year across all the teams, and I can't wait to go again next season. One last game, though. We've got Chelsea weekend down in London. I'm going to be enjoying myself in the capital. And we're going to be uh, having a great end of the season party. <laughs> That's what Chelsea is now. It's a party. You get your souls there. Get the, the banners out. Get whatever you need to get out. The party is on. At Newcastle are back in the Champions League. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to let me know your thoughts down below. And there will be content coming out for, God, for the foreseeable future. I've got plenty of content coming out now. So thank you guys for watching. See you all in the next one.